Hey guys, we're out here today and uh, turkey season is uh, not too far around the corner. And uh, my good friend Tyler here, is, he's got a Mossberg 835. And Otis here got him a, uh, a new pistol grip stock, but as you can see on here, it's a black stock with a camouflage gun. And we're gonna take care of that today. I actually took my 835 when uh, I got me a pistol grip, stripped it off. Uh, Put some Riptile camouflage on there. Turned out really nice, and I think that's what Tyler's going to do with his gun. And basically, these is going to be what they call a rattle can job or spray paint. And you know, I obviously wouldn't recommend this if, if you have a high dollar gun or just bought a brand new gun. But you know, if you have something that uh, you've had for years and been beat around yeah, or something, had since high school, like had this. since high school like this when he's had it a long time, and this is just a cheap and and really a neat way to. Kind of personalize your gun with uh, whatever pattern that you want. Uh, this one was actually done three years ago, and it's it's been put through a lot of abuse in three years, and it's actually held up pretty good. And the good thing about this is, strip it off and redo it at a later date if you don't like the pattern or get, tired get scuffed up. And kind of today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you the process. How if you want to do this at your house, it's it's fairly easy and it's very cheap. Uh, basically, you need a, the way we do it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but you need to buy, buy a can of uh, brake cleaner, and we're going to use that here in just a minute to strip the old camo pattern off. Uh, and this will be about a two to three day process. Uh, after this, obviously, we've got to put a base coat on after everything is good and dried, and then we'll come in and actually lay down the camouflage stencils. And, and really, the sky's the limit on something like this. You don't have to use stencils. You can use Whatever you want, you can use leaves, branches. I mean, uh, your imagination can run wild with yeah, you whatever don't have to spend pattern. Yeah, you money on stencils. You can just That's leave right. leaves and stuff and spray over them. A lot of, and there's YouTube videos out there like that too. Yeah, but, uh, we're not we're not really reinventing the wheel here. Uh, this is just kind of something cool that we've started doing. And this gun here, uh, I bought it back in probably 1997 or eight. And uh, every year I want to buy a new gun because I want a new gun. Everybody wants a new gun, but. And then I go to the range and pattern this, and it patterns better than most of the new guns yeah. that I've seen, and I, I just cannot get away from it. And Can't beat 835. No, for a turkey gun, Good they money. are they are they are really good. And, and Mossberg was really on, on to something when they because these are actually overboard to a 10 gauge barrel back mm -hmm. here, and that that's really keeps a tight pattern. But that's something else we'll do down the road. We're going to get these out probably the next few weeks, make sure our pattern's good on everything. But today. We got to we got to put the bling on it. We got to make sure it's looking good, and you know, looking good's half a battle in yeah. the turkey wood. Yeah, you know? whether you kill one or not, you want to look you, like you know what you're doing. You got to look good doing yeah. it, man. You got to look the part. That's what it's so that's, all about. It's that's what battle. we're going to do today. All right, guys, we're getting ready to take this finish off here. Uh, the components you'll need on this step, uh, and a lot of it really depends on what type of finish you have on your gun. The, the 835 that I uh, that I had, uh, it was more or less just painted on and. The uh, brake cleaner, just regular old cheap brake cleaner, worked great. Just stripped it right off. Uh, what Tyler's got here, his actually looked like it's been dipped. Little little different ammo to get off. You can actually use brake cleaner to get it off, and some Scotch pads or some kind of rough pad to bring it off with. But a lot of elbow grease involved there. Or Tyler's, he's upgraded here. What do you got there, Tyler? Yeah, if you want to work a little a little uh, less hard, I guess, and spend a little more money, is aircraft brand or clean strip aircraft paint remover and this stuff works yeah, it's, it's actually it's, it's a little high but it works you spray it on there and it starts bubbling up you don't even probably need the abrasive pad but it speeds it up a little bit and it just strips it right off so we'll show you here in a second a, that actually has acetone in it too so yeah. that's probably one of the things that's really bringing it off there really good but we're gonna let tyler get to work here get started we'll just kind of show you what we need to do to get her stripped off complete the first step here See, I've sprayed it on there. It's a little foamed up already. And you take take your pad and just oh yeah, it comes right off. I'm not really having to do a whole lot of work. It's mostly just some good, like a scuff pad, and it's taking it down to the metal, which is what we want. Last 
All right, guys, we've got gun was stripped and we just went ahead and sprayed a, I think this is called khaki, just a little base coat on, it's not anything special. And then you pretty much just do what you want to from this point. We've got masking tape or painter's tape and scissors. And we're kind of going from a kind of a camo, like a tiger stripe camo. You just take scissors and cut all the straight edges off and put it where you want it and pretty much it. We'll spray it here in just a minute. You can pretty much be as creative or un not creative as you want to be with this. We we kind of went in the middle, I think. Not too much work, but... Keep shaking so it don't clog up on you. Start spitting everywhere. Alright, that's pretty much got it, I think. We'll come back tomorrow, let this dry overnight, come back tomorrow and we'll put another set of stencils over these. Spray, I think, what'll be our last color, either brown or black. And then we'll let it dry for a day and pull it off and see what it looks like. Uh, last time we didn't show how we cut the stencils. Basically, we're just using this uh, blue masking tape and some scissors. Real easy, we're kind of making them kind of long, slender. Something um, like that. Something like that, yeah, and I guess you could so that's a mixture between tiger stripe, which is the look he was going for, and some of them look more like old school, kind of woodlandy. So uh, sky's the limit on this, guys, and uh, you just cut them however you want. Throw them on there, and we're going to see exactly what happens here. Tyler's excited. Uh, you know, after we got done with the scissors and then cut just a you know, little hole out in the middle, so like I said, any, any just basic random design is what you want uh, some of them you cut little holes in the middle some of you don't uh, but the look we're going with is a more slender long look on the gun uh, yeah and what you want to do some of these stencils are overlapping our first stencils, some of them's not, so it's just gonna be just some kind of random, random order. That's pretty much camouflage is random stuff. Tyler's got her uh, sprayed out. I just got to let her dry. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but a little dark brown and black. Kind of helps break it up just a little bit. Hopefully it'll look good and we're done. All right, guys, this is the final day. Actually, this is the reveal, Tyler. The uh, reveal day. We put a few days in on Tyler's uh, 835 Mossberg and uh, you guys seen how we stripped it off, started applying coats and stencils, and uh, I just hope there's some magic under here. Yeah. So, uh, it's going to look like what it's going to look like. Because you're hunting with it either, either way, because turkey season opens Saturday and today is Wednesday. So we got to get it together and get it patterned by yeah. tomorrow, basically. Yeah, because yeah, we got to get it back together. He's also got a red dot we got to get on there, side in, get tuned up. So we're, we're kind of behind the eight ball, but... Really, in my experience with my hunting or for thirty something years, <laughs> yeah. this is par for the course. Yeah. So uh, it's whatever it's going to look like is what it's going to look like all season. Yeah, you'll see this gun all season long uh, in its entire entirety. Yeah. So uh, whatever it looks like, it is. So yeah. today we're going to let the magic we're happen. Find that one way or another. Let the magic happen. All right.
all right so this is what it looks like <laughs> i think it looks pretty good actually when you get up close to it the shop model billy will probably zoom in it's a little rough because we use painter's tape and spray paint so it's it's going to look a little rough but honestly from from where you're at i guess with the camera away it, it looks pretty daggone good yeah i'll zoom in there and show them just a little bit i mean i i think it looks pretty good dude yeah for just uh you know a little mask and tape a little spray paint yep. man blue painters tape and three different types of uh spray paint holder holder still right there on the side there now get a good look man that's a and that's i think that's a good really a good camouflage pattern in the woods man you got your, your greens your dark browns your black your sand I over, guess we went four, flip it over four, there. See. four colors, didn't we? Yeah. Black and brown on it. <clears> yeah, that <throat> last little patch we, we put the uh, put the black on it. Yeah, I think uh, I think overall, man. Like I said, grab you some masking tape, yeah, some spray paint, strip it off, throw your stencils on, and uh, it's kind of fun to do this with these old guns. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It took a of course, it was this new uh, stock was black, so we had yeah. to paint it either way. So something different to do. Yeah, not too hard. Anybody can do it. And then if you hate it, you take brake cleaner and take it back off. Do it again. But pretty happy. On a scale of one to ten, what do you think? <laughs> oh, I'm saying it's solid nine. Solid nine, man. Not bad for masking tape and yeah. spray paint. So. Yep. For a bunch hey, of amateurs. Guys, get your old gun out there if you ain't happy with it or want to play around and. The fun oh, you, part is you get to still pick while you're carrying it through the woods, you can still find more tape to tear, tear off of it, probably. Yeah. So, nice little fun, neat way to personalize your turkey gun. Yep. Good deal.